Hey guys and gals, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button down below, like this video, and in this short video, we are going to take some time to go over the e-commerce section. High Level has recently added full e-commerce to our platform, and so now you can have a true e-commerce store with shopping cart, categories, shipping, taxes, all of that stuff. And it's still fairly basic, it's only been out for a few months, but for a lot of you, it's very usable. It ties into the full platform in terms of abandoned cart sequences, automations and things like that. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an entire overview of the whole e-commerce section of our platform. So make sure to check this out and you can really have a full understanding of this and see if it's something that you can use in your business today. So I will see you on the other side. In this video, I want to give you an overview of the e-commerce part of ClickHubs. The e-commerce is super exciting because this is a pretty new development in our platform and it's already moving quite rapidly. To be fair, it's not going to compete with Shopify or WooCommerce just yet. Those platforms have been around for well over 10, 15, maybe longer years and they're exclusively e-commerce platforms. The ClickHubs e-commerce has been around maybe three months, so it's still very basic, but if you just need a basic e-commerce, shopping cart it's already got a lot of great functionality built in and it may just work well for you and we've got a lot of changes coming quickly so even if it's not ready for you to use now it may be ready for you in the next three to six months so with that said let's just give you a quick overview this is just part of the e-commerce setup and this website just has a header but you can build the website to look however you want and then you can insert the e-commerce we'll show you how to do that here in a few moments and then once you have that you come to your category pages here you can see this one has a picture. These ones are just fillers. And then when you click on it, it's going to take you to the product detail page. You can see I've got some product variants here. So you can select the size. Notice the price is $29.97, but if I go to XL, the price goes up to $32.97. You can select the color. You can also have the image change based on the variant. So if you want to have different images for blue, you could have a blue shirt show. I don't have that set up here, but you can do that. You've got an area here for your product description. And as far as the styling of the e-commerce part, it's pretty basic right now, but this will be coming as well where we'll have a lot more customizations here. Uh, for example, the content underneath it, we can't tie this specific to this product, but we will be able to have more control over that in the near future. So for now, it's going to be this middle part that's inserted on the page. And then you build your page around that with your header, your footer, your sidebar, so you can have additional content underneath. So it's still fairly basic, as I mentioned, but it is very effective. So if you click Add to Cart here, for example, you've got the slide out cart here, and you can see now I've got a couple products added here. And so because these are different colors, it's actually showing different. So here's a blue, here's a gray. And if I want to add another one, I can just adjust that, and it will automatically add the quantity. And then if I click View Cart, it's going to take me to my cart where I can also come in here and adjust it and you'll see the price change automatically. I can delete this. And then as I go to checkout, it's going to bring me over to my checkout. Pretty nice looking checkout page. Uh, it will be nice when we can add even more things here. You can add things above and below, but you can't add things inside of here currently. And you do have options with colors and things like that, basic options. One nice feature we have though, you can see you have the option to have a firm or after pay. These are some of the payment, uh, interest-free payment options that you have available, and these are set up through Stripe, uh, or you can pay with credit card or Google Pay, of course. And so that's really it in terms of what it's capable of doing. Let me just give you a quick rundown as far as how to set that up. And so if we are in our main dashboard, the first thing you'll need to do is have your products. So if you go into payments, and products you can see we have collections so let's just come in here to collections and let's say we're going to create a collection this is styled after the shopify style so collections are categories so let's say we want to create a category and we want to call it shirts and then our additional options is we can adjust the last part of the url so this is going to be the slug for shirts so you can call this whatever you want if you want it to be a different link than what you have in the description and the first part is always going to be collection so currently we can't change that i would imagine they're going to change that one day so maybe we can change that to say categories or something else depending on your situation so we'll save that and let's say well we've got test collection we'll just leave that so next up we're going to 
go into our products and let's say we're going to create a product here and I'm going to say this test t-shirt and then here you can toggle if you want it to be included in the online store or not so maybe you don't want this in the store you're going to use this as a funnel product or something like that in which case you would toggle that off and you can see some of the options go away we'll leave this on for the purpose of this demo and then here is going to be this is the basic description of the t-shirt and you just got a basic editor here so you could insert a table here if you wanted to have a size guide so you could say let's say small large x large whatever you want to do here and you can add columns things like this so you can add some things into the description additionally here and there's i don't see any way to add an image right now but again this is still very new it's going to be coming and then this is where you would add your main image and so you've got them uploaded here and let's say we're just going to come in here and pick something random so i'm just going to pick this merry christmas image here and this will be the featured image so then we can come in here and select this the selections we want so maybe i want to add it to two different categories there and if you want to charge tax you can charge tax and then so the tax we would set up somewhere else i'll show you where to set that up and then also now we can have a shipping as well and we'll show you where to set that up as well so if you already have tax set up then you can come in here and select that and the tax is pretty basic currently it's not a real-time tax so for example in the united states i believe it's still the case where if you're shipping it to a certain state or even maybe a certain county that county may have specific tax so i believe in california every county had a different sales tax and if i was shipping to los angeles county it might be one tax rate compared to shipping it to orange county maybe another so this is not advanced to do that yet this would be more maybe like if you have a flat tax rate like a vat or something like that i imagine we're going to see that coming in the near future as well so maybe it might integrate with tax jar or something like that but for now it's just a very basic tax uh, capability luckily i'm filming this from oregon we don't have sales tax so we're not required to charge sales tax i believe when we ship to other states as well since this is a no sales tax state and then you can update your statement descriptor which is going to show on the credit card for their bank statements as well i guess this is really good if you have some sensitive products that you're selling and you want to have more of a generic name on here and for price you can have a one-time or recurring so it's nice you can have recurring products in here and then we're going to say $20. You can also change the currency. So we've got US dollars here. And you can have a compare price. So we might say this is normally $29.97. You can also track inventory. So if you want to show how many are available, let's say 10. And then you have the option to continue selling when it's out of stock. Or when it's out of stock, people will, will not be able to purchase. And if you look at additional options, you can have a price description here as well and you can add them to a membership so if you're selling this and it's tied to a membership or a course or something like that you can come in here and you can offer those access here as well you can also add another price if you wanted to so if you want to add another price oops we're going to turn this membership offer on you can add another price here which would if you want to have a recurring price or something like that so we'll delete that and then the variance this is super nice because with t-shirts clothing especially you want to have different variants and it's really nice the way it handles it. So the first one we're going to say size and then here we're going to add options value. So first one is small and the next one is going to be medium, large, XL and let's say 2XL. So we're done with that. So you can see it's created all of our different pricing here. You can adjust the quantity for each of these. So let's say we're going to have one of these, five of these, two of these and three of these. And then if we want to add another variant, you can see here we've got all our sizes. So now we want to add color. So let's say we have color. And these can be whatever you want them to be. So it really just depends on your naming convention and your product. So for color options, let's say we're going to have black, blue, red, white, and gray. And done. And now you can see it's added a small black, small blue. So it's actually added the additional products. And it's very easy to come in here and change these as well as the compare price. You just scroll down and so maybe for 2xl we want these to be 24 dollars so we can just come into all our 2xls and change them to 24 or maybe a certain color is going to be more so maybe our 2xl blue is going to be 26 it's a more popular item super easy to manage these and then you just save these so now we've got the product there and then one other thing i wanted to show you is you can actually come in here and upload the image specifically 
for each variant size. So when you select the variant inside of the shopping cart or the product detail page, it will actually show the appropriate image. So if you select a blue shirt, for example, it's going to show a blue image. So this is just a matter of clicking here and picking your images. You can add images here. So we're not going to worry about that for now. Um, it's self-explanatory, but that's how you do that. And that's it. You can see now we've got a live product set up as well as a test product set up so we can test this and we're done here and now we can go back out now if you want to do tax and shipping you just come into settings and then you can adjust your receipts here you can use automatic sales receipts or you can use the automations to create your own come into taxes and you can create a tax here so here's the name of the tax what's the percentage rate the description and the tax ID number and it's pretty straightforward there so here we can create notifications so if somebody abandons the cart you can create a template inside of the email templates and then you can send abandoned cart notifications you can also do this in the automations if you want to have more granular control and then next is shipping and delivery this allows you to create shipping zones so you can create a zone for example we're going to say us and the country will say united states and then now we can add a rate. So this is going to be standard shipping. Standard shipping is free. And we're going to leave this as free. If you change it to a dollar amount, then it changes to your currency that you selected. And then we'll just add that. And then we're going to add another rate for expedited shipping. This is only $5 to get it in three days or less and then we're going to call this five dollars and we'll add that so that's really it for shipping and so next up we're going to go into our websites and this only works with websites it does not work with funnels so you're going to select websites up here and then we're going to go into the dev site here and let's see if i come in here and we're going to just edit this page so once we come into this page, we've got just a simple page started here. Now if we click on the add elements here in the left and you see store, you're going to have the option to add the site and then it's going to automatically create the pages for you. You can see it's preparing the layout, creating the pages and getting everything set up into your existing website. So basically you're going to build your website the way you want it to look and then you're going to insert the store elements inside of that existing website. So now you can see we've got everything here and let's just come into our home page. And as I change pages here, you can see now we've got our store pages listed. So I've got a product list and you can see the header is different, the footer. So we can change these elements here and this navigation menu, we can have the automatic shopping cart, but it just gives you the basic setup here. So let's go back really quickly and just show you. I'm going to save this header as a global header. So let's just do that really quickly and we'll save that as global header. And then we're going to add that to global sections. So we save that. Now let's go back to our product list and we'll save this. We're going to add our global sections and our global header. We'll just bring that out here. And then, so you can see I've got the shopping cart there. So now I can just delete this one and then I can start building this around. So currently, I believe you do have to add this to all the pages. It does create kind of a default look for all the pages that it creates. So you can see the product details also has just the standard header here. So you just need to change this and kind of change the look. But you can have anything you want above and below these elements here. And so... This element here is your product detail. And then so you can click here to manage products. You can have a few options here. Show add to cart, show buy it now, and then your colors and things like that. And then if you click on advanced, you can manage different things like box shadows, borders, and things like that. So we'll save that and publish that. Actually, we'll just save it and we'll view the preview. So if we look at the preview, now you can see we've got a couple of our products in here. And so here's the table that we added. And then if we select the color, we can take a look. Now this is not published, so that's why we don't see everything that we had in here. But this is, um, you can see this one has the header that we added here as well. So that's the e-commerce in a nutshell. There's some other things. I won't cover too much of that in here, but if you go into automations, 
you'll have some things. So let's just take a quick preview here of the automations. If you come into your automations, you will have some, let's take a look here, order, order filled, order place. So you can do different things here. Let's go abandoned checkout. So you can do abandoned checkout and then you can do different durations here. So, and you have different filters as well. So cart value, things like that. So a lot of flexibility here in the automations part. This is very powerful. And then also if you're inside of the email templates and you want to create an email for this, you can come into your template and you'll see that there is a shopping cart element here. So you can bring that out. You can see I've already added it here, so I won't add it again. But this allows you to send e-commerce products over to your list and uh, this will populate automatically here based off your inventory. So that's really it for an overview of the e-commerce. Hopefully you found this helpful. This is changing quickly too, so we're gonna see a lot more things coming. We just got shipping added yesterday and I'm, I'm told that we're gonna have real-time shipping coming fairly soon where it will integrate via API to companies like USPS, UPS, and things like that. So hopefully you found this helpful. We'll have some more detailed videos coming on the specific aspects as well, but we wanted to get this overview video out so that you're familiar with where to find everything and how to connect it all. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching. As I mentioned several times, it's still pretty basic, but features are being added regularly and quickly. And for a lot of you guys, it's very usable already. And for the rest of you, it probably will be very usable in the very near future. So I recommend keeping an eye on this space. And if you think it's something you can use now, just get into your account, set it up, do some tests and see if it'll work for you. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.